In lesson three of our matter unit, we talked about physical properties of matter, and we said that a physical property is just a characteristic of a substance that we can measure without a chemical reaction, without changing the identity of that substance. And over the last couple videos, we've been looking at some labs, some demonstrations, some examples of those physical properties in action. And today we're going to talk about a physical property called absorbency. And if you've ever used a sponge before, you know what absorbency is. You can take a sponge, put it in a bucket of water, that sponge absorbs lots of water out of the bucket. Then you can take the sponge, you can wring the water out. But we're going to be looking at a group of materials that are known as superabsorbent polymers. And for the first polymer that we have here, we call it our magic snow. But of course, it's not really magic, it's just science. And the name of this chemical is sodium polyacrylate. But we do call it our snow powder, and I'll show you why in just a moment. So the first thing we want to do with our sodium polyacrylate, we want to get it out of the bag here. And we're just going to pour it into this small beaker, just so it'll be a little bit easier for us to work with. And you can see when I get it in the beaker here, there's, there's really not that much here. It's just this small amount that looks more like sugar than it does snow right now. But, because like we say, this is a super absorbent polymer. That means it has a very high ability to absorb liquids. And we're going to take this and see just how much liquid it's able to absorb. So here I have my sodium polyacrylate and I've got about 200 milliliters of warm water. And I'm going to add both of these to this beaker and just watch what happens, watch the physical change that takes place. We're going to pour in the sodium polyacrylate and then we're going to pour our water in and observe the change. So you can see pretty quickly after I pour this, it's definitely changed. It's definitely different than it was. And now instead of having water in the bottom of our beaker, we've got this squishy, um, powdery material and it really, it, it feels a lot like snow. Um, it's wet, it's squishy, and it's because that sodium polyacrylate has absorbed all of that water that we put into the beaker. And you can see if we just kind of pour this out on the table here, we don't have water anymore. We've got a pile of this wet, super absorbent polymer that's absorbed or soaked up all of that water. And now, true to its name, it does look like magic snow powder because it looks like we just, by pouring that together, we made snow. But in reality, we've just kind of filled that polymer up with water. It's a pretty neat demonstration here, and it's a lot of fun to play with. I know um, those of you in my class, you've got some of this in your science kit that you've had a chance to make at home. And it really is just a neat experience just being able to see how something that really looks so small and insignificant can turn into magic snow. Now since we're looking at superabsorbent polymers, we looked at the sodium polyacrylate powder, but we're going to look at a couple others. and. These are a little bit larger particles, but they're also these same superabsorbent type materials. Uh, the first is a little, looks like a little hard plastic bead, but again, it's able to absorb about 100 times its own mass in water weight. So if we put that in a beaker of water, it's going to begin to absorb in over about 12 hours. It takes these a little bit longer because they're larger, but over about 12 hours, it's going to start to absorb a lot of this water. And the second one is very similar, but it's a little cube, and it's a little bit of a squishier material, maybe like a piece of jello, but we're going to drop one of these in a beaker also, and we're going to let them sit and see what they look like after 24 hours. So I do have each of these that I prepared up yesterday. They've been sitting for 24 hours, and I also added a little bit of food coloring to the water so that we'll be able to see the polymer a little bit better instead of being clear. It'll also absorb some of that food coloring and give it a color. So we'll take a look. The first one was the polymer beads, and I'm just going to spread a towel out here, and we'll take a look and see what they look like after they've had 24 hours to absorb water. So this is our, our polymer bead. It's definitely much larger than it was. It's again a lot squishier, feels like a piece of jello now almost. And you know, before it was just this hard plastic. But again, that's its ability to absorb, absorbency. It can take in liquids. It took in the water. It also took in the food coloring. And because we also learned that 
two atoms can't occupy the same space at the same time because it's taking all of this water into it, it's absorbing it, it also has to grow in volume. And that's why the sphere gets so much larger while it's absorbing that water. Now the second one we had was our cube. And again, it started out as this very tiny cube, but you can see just how much that was able to absorb over 24 hours. And it's grown so much larger than it was before. So again, these are just neat examples of those super absorbent polymers, things that are able to take in liquids and grow larger because of it. Now again, we're talking about physical properties of matter, properties that don't require a chemical change, that don't create a new substance. So we know that we still have our water here and we still have our super absorbent polymer here. And if we were to leave these sitting out for two or three days, let all of the water evaporate out, let it dry out, it would actually shrink back down to its original size. The snow powder would turn from that nice fluffy wet snow back into that fine powder that looks like salt or sugar. So again, just by adding water, by removing water, we're able to see this physical property and we're able to see physical changes at work.